It's not often I consider eating my aquarium fish. In fact, these fish are my pets, so I never consider eating them. But I share these fish on YouTube with you guys, and you know YouTube is worldwide. So I have people from all over the world telling me how the fish that I keep in my aquariums is a common meal on their plate. So a lot of times when I show my fish, I get people asking me, would I ever eat them? And today I want to talk about that. So of course, for most of us living in the U.S., when we buy aquarium fish, the last thing on our minds is how we can eat them. But that's not the case with people from all around the world. I know that in different countries, they have different practices. So a lot of times when I used to show my zebra tilapia, I got a bunch of people telling me different ways that they used to eat it, different ways to cook it so that it tastes delicious. Um, same thing with the tin foil barbs. A lot of people telling me that they also were very delicious fish. I had people telling me that they eat peacock bass, giant garami, even people eating Asian arowanas. And we all know Asian arowanas are probably the most expensive freshwater fish in this hobby. But around the world, they have different cultures and a lot of the fish that we keep in aquariums, they keep on their dinner plate. So in all my years of keeping aquarium fish out of all the hundreds of different species of fish that I kept, I never actually considered them as food. One, because they're my pets. And two, because these fish looking so tropical with all these colors, they just don't register as food. That's until I started keeping now tilapia. Now, if you go to any fish market in the U.S., you won't find any of the fish that I keep except the now tilapia. The now tilapia is one of the most common types of freshwater fish that we eat here in the U.S. I myself, I eat a lot of it. I ate it before I got into fish keeping. I still eat it today and it's everywhere. You can find them in frozen bags, still looking like the same fish that in my aquarium. They look exactly the same inside the frozen bag. They don't dice it or slice. You buy it sliced and diced, but you can also buy it as it was when it was alive with this whole shape, eyes, skin, flesh. You get the idea. You could buy the fish dead the same way it looks alive. Now, I actually bought these fish from a fish farm. So this farm was raising them for human consumption. So there's a good chance that if I didn't buy these fish, they most likely would have been grown to a large size, chopped up, or just frozen whole in a bag and sold to some seller, which will eventually lead to somebody eating these fish. So yeah, I bought these fish originally to be thither fish. Thither fish are a fish that you add to your tank to make your main fish more comfortable. I did a video um, supporting or giving more details about thither fish if you want to know more about that. But yeah, I bought these tilapia so that they could be thither fish for some of my larger cichlids. I figured that these tilapia, they grow very fast, they get very big and are not too aggressive. So they should do a good job encouraging some of my other fish to be more active. Now the thing is, as dither fish, they only have a temporal job in my aquariums, which means they only have a temporal place eventually when they're finished with their job, because I do believe at a certain point when my main focal fish, my main cichlids get large enough, they really won't need the tilapia to feel comfortable. So once they reach that point, I won't need the tilapia anymore. By the end of the tilapia will be very big. And the question is, will I ever eat these tilapia? And of course, the answer to that question is easy. I will never eat my fish. Two reasons. One, because these fish are my pets. Eating them will be just like eating my dogs. I know in some countries, eating dogs is normal, but for me, and I think for most people in the US, that's pretty sick. And my second reason, and my major reason of why I can never eat my aquarium fish is because of the chemicals that we use on our fish tanks. So if you go to a fish farm, you'll notice that they don't use any of the same chemicals that we use. And that's because a lot of the chemicals that we use can be deadly to humans. If you check out the back of these chemicals, 
Um, you can see not meant for human consumption. You can also see not meant for fish that are gonna be consumed by humans because these chemicals can be deadly. Um, in some of the bottles, you can even say that some of these chemicals cause cancer in the state of California. So um, you could definitely get a lot of problems if you consume these chemicals. Now, most of these chemicals are found with like things that treat illnesses or parasites. I found it on my Pemafix, Melafix, Clout, Prazipro, and all these I use for diseases and disease prevention. Now, I don't treat this on my aquarium all the time, but the thing is, if you ever treated your, like the ick treatment, if you ever treated your aquarium for ick with one of those ick medicines, the way it stains the corners with that blue, that blue color, that shows you that the chemical is still in the water, which means it's still in the fish. So even if you haven't treated your fish for months, the fact that you used it means that it's still in the water. If you eat the fish, you could definitely have that chemical inside of you and you can have negative effects. So basically for us Aquarius, eating our fish is for the most part not an option. And that's because a lot of the chemicals that we use are just not meant for human consumption. And if we do get them in our bodies, it can cause problems. A lot of these chemicals are cheaper. That's the reason why we have them. If you do want to raise your fish so that eventually you can eat them, um, you're going to have to buy your chemicals, your water conditioners, your treatments for diseases because fish will catch diseases, they will catch parasites because a lot of times they are in stressful situations. So you do got to have a method for treating this stuff and your treatment will have to come from fish farms and that stuff is more expensive. And um, But for most of us, daily or regular fish keepers, eating our fish is not an option because we're using stuff that comes from these regular fish stores that have these chemicals that's just not meant for human consumption. Okay everyone, so for everyone who asks me will I ever eat my tilapia when I get bigger or if I'll ever eat my peacock bass or if I'll ever eat my koi, the answer is no. These fish are my pets for one and for two, if I eat them I could get sick and possibly die. So definitely not something I or any of us want to do unless we take the measures to make sure that we raise them properly for human consumption. But for the most part, we're keeping these fish for pets and not to be eating them. So there's a good chance we're not raising them properly to be eaten. So I'm not going to eat these and you shouldn't eat yours. But anyway, as always, let me know what you guys think about this video. Any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Anything that I missed about this topic, anything that is important that you know that I didn't cover Feel free to let us know in the comment section below. We all check out these comments and we all like to see what each other say. But yeah, everyone, that's it for the video and I'll catch you guys on the next one.